Brussels Comedy Club. <laughs> you know, I don't want to brag or anything, but um, my friends are always telling me that I should do stand-up comedy. <laughs> and my first reaction is usually, eh, followed by, oh, you guys stop. <laughs> followed by me actually saying to myself, should I? See, my confession is, is that I really don't like stand-up comedy. <laughs> You know, I mean, they say this usually after I've told a really funny story about my family. Like, um, like the story about my brother's Latino friend in grammar school who said to him on his first communion day that he had nice shoes by saying, Nice shoe, mate! <laughs> or um, about the Volkswagen Rabbit convertible that my three oldest brothers shared throughout high school. I got broken into so many times that they had to start using a screwdriver to start the car. <laughs> jam the screwdriver into whatever was left of the ignition. And then you had people walking around our house saying stuff like, Has anyone seen the screwdriver to the rabbit? <laughs> or, like the time that uh, my mother went to turn on the morning news for my 90-year-old grandmother, who was living with us at the time. And instead of the news coming on TV, a very vivid scene from a pornographic movie came on. siblings in 10 years, or my father, who would have robbed a bank to put us all through college. Yeah, most of the funny things I say are about those two people. <laughs> Does it make me a bad person? <laughs> so yeah, I'm from a big family. I'm the youngest of six kids. I grew up in uh, New Jersey, and um, uh, you know, we're an Irish Catholic family, and I'm pretty sure that everyone we know is Irish Catholic. <laughs> everything is, you know, trying to make it relevant to the audience. You know, you got some jerk guy who's standing up there talking about how annoying his wife is, you know, just for the sake of a joke. Or some woman who is, you know, talking about how hard it is to find a good man. And forget it if you all live in the same city. <laughs> talking about how crazy life is in that city. <laughs> My family is fun, though. Yeah, we have fun together. When we're just palling around and not fighting. <laughs> Usually because it's all of us sitting around a room making fun of one another. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm wrong. It's usually us sitting around a room making fun of my parents. <laughs> I mean, they just provide such immense amounts of material. Why it would be a shame for someone not to use it somewhere? You know? <laughs> like what my mother says. <laughs> I don't mind telling you. <laughs> So much damn junk mail in my Yaha website. <laughs> Yaha, I'll give her Yaha, she means Yahoo, but website, you don't have a website right now. <laughs> or, or like the time that we went to California. And all my father kept saying was, this place is paradise! It's a magical! And I guess what's really 
really funny about both of those impressions, especially if you know my parents, is that neither of them actually sound like that. I mean, we exaggerate the impression because, you know, we love and know the essence behind what they're saying. And by we, of course, I mean me and my sister and my four brothers and my three sisters-in-law and my brother-in-law and my five nephews and my three nieces. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, time's up. Thanks for coming. <laughs>